Hi again, it's Paul Decane for dv247.com. In today's Logic 9 feature tutorial, we're going to be looking at the new bounce in place functionality. This is based on the original bounce feature, which has been in Logic for quite a few years now. Just as a reminder, to bounce a full song like the one you're looking at here, will be to set locators on the left and right, to incorporate any reverb tails or any effects at the end of a song, and to make sure everything at the beginning is captured, then you would go to File, Bounce, and then simply set all the parameters that the window is asking for, which would be where to save the file and what to call it, what type of audio file it would be, PCM-based AIFF or WAV, perhaps an MP3 or AAC for iTunes, and also whether you would want the file to be bounced in real time, i.e. from top to bottom, or offline, which would be much quicker. You would not actually hear what was happening in the background, but Logic would bounce the file into a new stereo master file at a fraction of the time. Well, Logic 9 now introduces three different bounce in place functions. One of them is region based and the other two are track based. So let's look at the song we've got on the screen right now. This is an extract from the Killers track, uh, Spaceman, which is part of the demo content provided with the Logic 9 DVDs. So the first of the three new functions is called Bounce Regions in Place. What you may want to do is to take a group of regions from a song and make a composite audio file to make a new stereo file for use later. For example, in this Killers demo track, I'm just going to select six random regions from this song. And just for this exercise, we're going to take a group of keyboard parts and bounce them into one stereo audio file. If I just solo them, you can listen back and hear how they sound. Now I left that right to the end so you could hear the reverb and the delay tail at the end of the audio files. What I'm going to do is show you something quite cool about this new Bounce Regions in Place feature. If I just move the locators to the left and not include in real time the effects tails that's generated by these audio files, when I do the bounce, Logic will actually remember that there should be some effects tails on that part of the file, and despite the setting of my locators to not include them in real time, Logic will include those effects in the bounce. OK, so now let's make this new audio file from this group of selected regions. To do that, you go to Region, click on Bounce Regions in Place, and the information that Logic's asking you for, the title of the new audio file, so let's call that Synths. For the original source material, Logic asks if you want to leave, mute, or delete them. I think in this case we'll just do a mute. You can choose to delete or leave them in your case if you wish. Bypass effects plugins here, we don't want to actually do that because we've got some nice effect tails on the end of these files. So we'll leave that as unselected. Uh, and there's the include audio tail in the file, we want to do that. And of course include volume and pan automation, so anything that you have going on there is represented in the bounce file. And we click OK. Now there you didn't hear a thing because all that functionality was done offline. And as we instructed Logic to do so, all the original files have been muted, as you can see in the light grey. And this file here is called Synths. It's a new audio file composited from the original audio files. Let's just change the colour of that so we can see what's going on clearer. I've got this track soloed now, so let's extend these locators and hear how that sounds. Uh, you may be thinking that Logic's actually clipped some of the effects tail at the end of that audio file. If we open the audio file up and try that. There's the effects tails in the full glory. Right, there's just one extra thing regarding the bounce in place functionality. If you have any effects plugins on your channel strip for your master out within your song, Logic will actually ignore these plugins and make the new composite audio file exclude them. OK, the second Bounce in Place feature is Bounce Track in Place. Whereas the previous functionality took a group of regions that we selected and made a new composite audio file from them, this takes the full contents of one particular track and only one track within your song. So here we've got the acapella from the Spaceman track by The Killers. I'm just going to select everything there. Now as you can see, the locators are only set for about four bars here. 
I'm going to leave it there to show you that this functionality affects the entire duration of the song. In other words, the entire contents of this one track. And that's the thing to focus on, the contents of the track, not an audio file that's actually set between some locators, or even a composite set of regions. Here I'll just click on the main arrange window to deselect any audio files. Just click on that track below it and then back on here, which is the vocal lead track one that we want to bounce. So we go to track, bounce track in place. And again, we get a prompt window asking for information about the file and how we want to save it. So let's call this a cappella. The destination, of course, will be new track. We don't, in this case, want to bypass any effect plugins, but of course you may want to. Uh, and in this case, again, we want to include volume and pan automation. So let's click OK. And there you go, Logic's created a new track called Acapella. It's muted the original source material. Uh, it's the full contents of the vocal, as you can see, stretching right across the song. And we'll just quickly listen to how that sounds. It started with a low light. Next thing I knew, they ripped me from my bed. And then they... The final third function of the new Bouncing Place feature is my particular favourite. This one's called Replace All Tracks. Now that sounds quite ominous, Replace All Tracks, but that's exactly what Logic is about to do. This, this bounce function is great for remixers and producers who want to send individual audio files of their productions to be remixed by other producers in the form of what we call stems. Now this third bounce in place feature actually does that. It will replace everything that's on the current song. Now you have to be careful about this because what Logic is gonna do is replace everything on your screen with new audio files. So you have to make sure that your song and the previous versions of course are all backed up and safe, maybe twice. Now the other thing to be aware of when you're actually doing this bounce replace all tracks function is that Logic doesn't take any notice at all of locator positions, any audio, or instrument regions that are selected. The only thing it looks at is over here on the right hand side, which is the end song locator position. Now, if this is buffered right up to the last part of your audio file here, as you can see, any effects tails that you have won't be recorded. It's not like the other two functions, but if you want to include any effects tails, etc., just open that end song position marker, just a few bars. So it actually recognizes what's at the end of your song. Uh, but do be careful because if you have it too far to the right, you will actually end up recording or including quite a few bars of silence. So we'll move that back over here just for now. And to do this, we go to track, bounce, replace all tracks. And as you can see, Logic's asking if you want to save the current project, uh, probably best to do this as we discussed. But for the moment, let's just say no and see what we get. So here Logic's asking if you want to bypass any effects plugins. I'm going to leave that unchecked for the moment. It's up to you and your individual production circumstances as to whether you want to tick that. It's probably best to include volume and pan automation, but again, that's up to you. Now for normalize, I would actually turn this off. This adds extra processing to the time that Logic uses to calculate the rendered files. And normalizing is not really a process I'd recommend anyway. It kind of restricts what the end user can do with the files that you actually are giving them. Now, before I click OK, what I need to tell you is that Logic will take about five or six minutes to actually render all these individual tracks into new audio files. So the video will speed up quite a lot and you'll see the end result very soon. And that's about it. The bounce replace all tracks feature took about five or six minutes there. But what we've ended up with is individual audio tracks, which can be sent to other producers as remix stems, or that we can keep for archiving purposes for the future. And very importantly, of course, we have to save what we have here now. So we'll go to file, save as, create a new title, which could include something like stem master, uh, make sure that assets are included. And from there, hit save. And that's about it from me on the bouncing place functionality for Logic 9. Uh, be sure to keep an eye on DV247's YouTube channel where you'll find some more Logic 9 tutorial videos. Hope this has helped. Till next time, cheers. Bye.